Kiss and your boys, because I'm just gonna back to the video. And today, I'm bringing you my top five budget smartphones under $300. And this list is gonna be going from most expensive to least expensive. So, I really hope you all do enjoy. And let's get into this top five. Okay, guys, start this list starting at $250, which is the most expensive phone on this list, goes to the T Mobile ZTE Z Max. And this phone is the only 4G LTE capable phone and has a Snapdragon 400 quad core phone with 2 gigabytes of RAM. And overall, this phone has the best specs on the list, but like I said, it is the most expensive with $250 at T Mobile. A hundred dollars at Metro PCS and 180 at Walmart Family Mobile. And this phone has nothing but good reviews about it because, like I said, it has a Snapdragon 400, has LTE capabilities, and it's quad core 1.2 gigahertz. And really, this phone will do anything that you want it to do, like basic needs with two gigabytes of RAM. You can even game on it if you want. And overall, this phone is probably the best and it is a 5.7 inch display so it's a big massive phone but overall it's a very good phone and at 250 dollars it is a great budget smartphone okay guys, the second most expensive smartphone on this list goes to the motorola moto g second generation and this phone retails for 180 dollars for the 8 gigabyte model and 230 dollars for the 16 gigabyte model and this phone actually has a 720p 5 inch display and it has front ported stereo speakers so there's two speakers on the front of the phone which is a very good add on to this phone. It has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 clocked at 1.2 gigahertz, Android 4.4 and it just recently got updated to Android 5.0 Lollipop, a 270 milliamp hour battery with Gorilla Glass 3 water resistant splash guard and if when you get it unlocked GSM networks including AT&T and T-Mobile and it's optimized with 3G networks and overall this is probably the best budget smartphone personally like the ZTE Z Max is a great phone but the Motorola Moto G at 5 inches with 720p display front facing speakers and just overall Android 5.0 update, it is really the best budget phone out there because at $180, it is just an overall great phone for basic needs and necessities. And I would really highly recommend this phone to anybody who just wants a nice budget Android phone. Okay guys, next up on the list goes to the Indigo G+. Plus. And this happens to be the phone that I'm getting, and it has Android 4.4 KitKat. It has 3G, no 4G or 4G LTE, just 3G. It is a quad-core Cortex A7, if I'm correct, smartphone with a 5.5-inch quad HB HD display. and has dual SIM card slots, and it works with AT&T, T-Mobile, Straight Talk. And really, this phone is really cheap at $130, and... I'm not sure what the how much storage space it has, but <clears throat> it has SD card expansion and really just a great phone with KitKat and 5.5 inches. You're not going to get a phone that beats this price. Okay, the number two spot on this list it goes to the Alcatel One Touch Pierce 2 Factory Unlocked, and this is a 5 inch phone with Android 4.4 KitKat, has SD card expansion up to 32 gigs, 5 megapixel back facing camera, 0.3 megapixel front facing camera, and has a quad core processor clocked at 1.3 gigahertz. And overall, this phone is very great, very snappy. It is a very big phone, and really, at $120, factory unlocked, there's almost nothing that I could beat it besides the number one spot on this list. But really, if you want a really good 5-inch phone at a really cheap price, then this would be the phone that I would go with. Okay, the number one spot on this list goes to the Shark. And this is an Android phone that has 4G capabilities, 5-inch display, dual SIM card slots, SD card expansion, and has a quad-core processor, which is powered by Posh. And this phone really at $100 is a steal. You're getting a quad-core processor 
dual sim 4G 5 inch phone for $100. It has LED flash, 5 megapixel camera, and really the phone is just a steal. Like if you're looking for a phone and you're not really wanting to spend a whole lot of money, then really this phone would be a great. Really any phone on this list would be a great choice. But that is all I have for you guys today, and I actually do have one honorable mention. So let's go actually check that one. Okay guys, the only mention that I have on this list goes to the Apple iPhone 4. And the reason why this is an honorable mention on the list is because personally, I'm not a big Apple fan. That's a personal preference. And all the phones on here are at least 5 inches, all Android. And that's just my personal preference. But the reason why it is getting an honorable mention spot is because even though it is iOS and... <clears throat> it is only 4.5 inch screen is that it is a very reliable phone it's great build quality because it is made by apple if i just have to give them some credit it's their build quality is amazing and really this is possibly known as one of the best iphones ever made people are still buying it using it and loving this phone and it comes with the nice reliable ios 7 i want to say and overall the phone is fast snappy very well made and with the reliable iOS that iOS um operating system there we go guys it is very reliable and very simple and if you guys are new to to phones or new to smartphones giving it to a child or giving it to a grandma grandpa whatever this would probably be the phone I would go with just because how reliable how simple and overall, just how cheap it is. It's $118 on Verizon or $230 unlocked. And that is a very good price. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please hit, this like, hit the like button down below if I did help you guys find a nice, cheap, alternative phone. And I really hope you guys did enjoy. And please subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. But I'm Skipify. And peace out.